Good morning and welcome back to my eBay reselling videos. Yes, it is that time again. I go to Goodwill, I go to Ross, I go to any store that has a clearance section and I try to find items that I can resell on eBay for money. It really does not get easier than that. Buy it for cheap, sell it for more. Easy peasy, right? Well, it is that simple because guys, we made some sales this week, starting with the Dragonfly Clothing Company button down. We sold that. We sold the router that we found. We sold the Craftsman uh, socket rack thing that we found. I sold the Tommy Hilfiger uh, long sleeve polo. And what was the last thing that I sold? Oh yeah, the Star Wars Han Solo card game. We sold five items this week, dude. Last week we didn't sell anything. This week we made a whole bunch of sales and I'm thinking the closer we get to Christmas, the more sales I'm gonna be making. So I'm stocking up. I am going out to these Goodwills. I'm going out to these Rosses, man. I'm even gonna try some different places. I wanna try Marshalls and I wanna try Bell's Outlet because I saw on some other YouTube channels, people were making money. So if I do find anything interesting in those stores, I'll record it. But if not, then I won't record it. Off to Goodwill. I got burned on the other one. I'll try this one. Let's see if there's no stains. Oh, there's two. And it has a logo there. I got both of these. There's three. Wait, hold on now. This one's got a little stain right there, though. What'd you find? What is all that? Just put it in. I'll check it all out later. One. Brand new. This brand new? I don't know what it is. Just put it in the cart. I'll check all that later. And then baby step up and go for the good. That's a pad. Are these heavy? Oh, they're not too heavy. Look at this. Look. I found not one Callaway. Two Callaway. Three Callaway. Yeah. Pretty good start. I went ahead and went through everything girlfriend found. So she found the nursing pads. These are pretty good. Picked up both of these. This one is that's nah, actually fine. And then uh, the milk bottle set was actually pretty good too. What's that? Alaska. What is it? Alaska Ulu knife. What is this? Anyways, these are the things she found, and I'm gonna pick up all these shirts. This one has a little stains, but they're not like oil or the stuff that's impossible to get off. I'll put whoever's comment, I forgot who commented it, but I have it saved, told me to go to Goodwill Outlet. I've never been here, ever. So we'll see what they got. <laughs> oh, look. I'm you got the this is weird. I think this is definitely a place you come. No. Can you? No, that's for workers. This is definitely a place you come, like, in the morning. How come I've never actually, like, heard of this? <laughs> How come it took, like, three years? <laughs> I think this whole section's books. Then they have a bunch of clothes. Yeah, this is not for me. <laughs> to sit here and look through all this, I don't have the patience. Then there's people's underwear and shit. I'm just gonna keep the tape rolling. I'm not even gonna turn it off. What's the point? I mean, it's it's more garbage. I am a proverb or purveyor. This is hectic in here. I think more people come here than the actual Goodwill.
Wow. Well, I'm out of here. <laughs> Let's go. That was wild. A lot of stuff. If you actually sat there and looked through it, I'm sure you could actually find some good things. But the issue is it's so packed in there. You'd literally be spending hours looking. And then what happens if you don't find anything? <laughs> just wasted all the time that goodwill outlet was actually a pretty cool experience i never realized you could find so many things in a bunch of bins the only thing is there was a bunch of people in there and they had like two cartfuls of uh products i just don't think that it's really for me um i don't know the stuff that i saw like every single bin that i looked into had a man's used underwear like i was scared to actually put my hand inside of the bins because every time i looked in it there was another man's pooped up underwear uh, so I probably will not be going back to the, I mean, unless it's like early in the morning and I get there right when they open. Uh, but going at 1244 PM, just too many people, man. It's, I don't think it's worth it. You're going to waste more time in that Goodwill outlet. You know, I, I go to, what is it? Two Goodwills. I go to two Rosses and, uh, I might even hit up a Marshalls today. I'm going to a lot more places and finding new products and better products that don't have stains as opposed to, uh, Poopy underwear. Oh, I totally forgot. Girlfriend, be my eyes. 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 Good. <laughs> Hold on, girlfriend. I'm coming. Don't forget, girlfriend. Green tags. I think we ended up coming a little too late. A lot of people came today, but I did find this Cuba Vera. It is brand new XL short sleeve t-shirt so i'll check that out probably can't see because of the wide angle but pretty much every turn you make you like run into five or six people here there's girlfriend right there now you just it's almost impossible to find anything i'm only getting these two things for my dad's job but that's probably going to be it for this goodwill better to leave now stop by somewhere else than to waste time alrighty so we just got out of the second goodwill I actually didn't find anything in the second one but we forgot to talk about what we found in the first one so first is the 120 count Johnson and Johnson I guess nursing pads there's a two pack of these I could bundle all of these up or I could sell them separately we'll see whichever one I uh, choose to do and then these also I could bundle them up if I wanted to these were $2.98 each I'll probably get $14 for these and shipping is not going to be bad because these are plastic so they're not going to break in shipping now I was actually shocked to find these Callaway polos 2 XLT very good size they have the logo right there and the logo on the uh, sleeve right there very good size another Callaway this one's an Opti dry 2 XLT five dollars should sell pretty good again it's got the logo on the sleeve but not on the uh, kind of like chest area of the shirt and lastly another Callaway Opti dry 2 XLT doesn't have the logo yeah, it but does. It, do it does have the logo oh it does have the logo there you go and it's got the logo right here too so I'm thinking these should all sell for about twenty dollars each sixty dollars for the shirts $14 a piece for that so that's gonna be what uh, $28 there and then these are gonna be about $25 each so about $50 there I ended up spending I think $31 because uh, I donated my last 12 cents which I I don't get any of that back on taxes if, if Goodwill ever asks you to donate don't because it doesn't go to a good cause it goes to Goodwill well after an unsuccessful second Goodwill it was kind of successful I got to find my dad uh, some work shirts, so at least that was cool. Girlfriend ended up paying for that, so thank you for that. Uh, we are on the way to the first Ross right now. We are gonna go to both Rosses because I've been finding some good stuff, right? Those uh, dish drying mats, although they haven't sold, uh, I have them listed for a pretty good price and maybe one day they will sell. I did find the Jordan hat, hasn't sold yet, but it has three watchers. I do have it listed for $25 and it is for big kids. Uh, so that's probably why it hasn't sold yet, but I'm thinking for Christmas time it probably will sell. And I'm just finding good stuff, so I'm gonna keep going. I'm going to the next Ross. Man, look at this. Look at this freaking Amazon, man. What, what kind of parking is that? 
Where's he delivering to, man? Well, we just got out of the first Ross. Again, did not find anything. There was so many people in there. It really, I don't understand, like, what's going on. One week, barely anybody is out shopping. The next week, on the very same day, there's a bunch of people out shopping. And someone had already beat me to it. I could tell. I saw a bunch of these, like, Disney, Barbie, uh, like, little action figure things, models, whatever they are. And they were all facing down with the barcode out, so I could tell someone beat me today. Only thing I found was like an Under Armour head tie, but even then, it resold for almost nothing. There was a Jordan hat for $9.99. I looked at the other tag on it, and another store was selling it for $7.99. So Ross actually marked the price up by $2. Why you do that, Ross? <laughs>